What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Yes, the birthday marathon. So, in our last episode, we did a little bit of training. We filled up the Pokedex just a little bit, and well, look at this. We got ourselves two brand new Pokemon, fully evolved and everything. The last one will be Toothless, and I get it, you know. We have seven uh, rare candies. We could give it all to Toothless right here, just so we could complete the whole thing. But I kind of want to just uh, enjoy enjoy its a uh, its you know I want to enjoy this Pokemon before it evolves. I kind of want to do it the natural way. Plus, my gut feeling tells me that I kind of I I probably will be needing those rare candies at some point. So, um, what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to find some kind of item. Obviously, you know. We're, we're gonna be going through some stuff right here now. Snow Point uh, City, not much of a city. There's a, a whole bunch of uh, snow. That's all I can tell you. And I don't know why I'm reading that. Oh yeah, this guy is talking about me. Yeah, I caught a Pokemon. Yeah, nobody cares. Okay, so let's go right ahead and did you trendy sane illumination electrode brilliant and shining? Let's go with shining. And yeah, that's I guess that's pretty much it right there. So uh, let's see. I think, yeah, there is a relic, or there is a, well, not a relic castle, but this right here is the Snow Point Temple, where you can actually find a specific legendary Pokemon. We won't be getting there until way, 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 way later. Now, if you go right here, let's see, let's see, oh, look at that, Chikorita. If you talk to this person, by any chance do you have a Metacham? Would you like to trade it for a Haunter? Now, this right here happens to be one of the... Oh my god, okay. So, in the original versions, you could actually get a... Or you could actually trade a Metacham for a Haunter. The, the messed up part about this is that in the original versions... Yeah, this person had a... What was it called? An ev uh, Everstone, I think. Yeah, it gave it an Everstone, so you wouldn't be able to actually have Haunter to evolve, which was the total, like, a big rob. A, a, a highway robbery right here. And, I don't know, we're gonna have to check you out a little bit later on, and I want that Chikorita. Or Torchic, yeah. But yeah, total highway robbery where you just find, like, you eventually find out that, yeah, that Pokemon cannot evolve because of an Everstone total big ol' you know what and well let's see there's an item right here I know it where's the item come on I don't know where it's at but look at that we're just running through the snow so enough wasting time let's go right ahead and go straight to the snow point uh, gym and BAM as many of you guys can see yes the same puzzle as last time is still here and well, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Do you see the big snowballs placed here and there? You need to slide on the ice with enough momentum to crush them. The gym leader is a user of ice type Pokemon. Melt their melt her defenses with scorching hot fire moves. It's all about focus with this gym. Bear down and focus, which is true. And so if we go down here, if you go down the stair the stairway, it's not gonna give you any momentum, especially with these patches of ice. So what needs to happen, guys, is you actually really, really need to go fast right here. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Okay. So, here we go. We are taking on Ace Trainer Sergio. And, well, this is a good enough time to talk about, hey, it feels good to be back in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And I hope you guys are enjoying this walkthrough first day of the little marathon that I'm having here for my channel. This all of course is in, in honor of my birthday, 32nd birthday, and good gravy. Yeah, that right there does not work out. This is the reason why Pennywise is a little questionable for this gym. But there we go, Psychic Attack does it. Now, let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking right now, okay, so since we are very, very close to finishing up this walkthrough, and I've seen some of the, uh, the after game stuff, I did miss out on the mystery gift part, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe there, there, there is a good chance for me to actually finish this all within the end of the month right here, uh, that, that just because, you know, I do have enough time now since we have to take mandatory breaks for football and all that crud, so, that's a big, big plus right there. And let's see. Let's go straight for a flamethrower attack. And just like that, flamethrower. 
finishes off Sneasel. Now the funny thing is that I could I could definitely use Magmortar right here. But I kinda don't want to. And look at that, Pennywise grows into the level. Even though, you know, we didn't really do much right here. So there you go. We have defeated another guy. He's bitter cold and all that crud. So let's go down, slide, and see what we can actually find right here. Now we can actually take on this lady right here. And yes, I did not switch out my uh, Pokemon, so that's kind of a big on me. And here we go. Take it on Savannah. All right, Belliver, you have no, you have no chance, none. So here we go, Pennywise, the balloon Pokemon, ready to go. And here comes a Drizzle. So this right here will actually power up some water type moves right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go for a Psychic Attack. That's my go-to stuff right here. So there we go, Pennywise, Psychic Attack. And that right there gets Pelipper. And here comes an Ice Beam. Again, I don't learn. And Pennywise right now is, yeah, sticking to its guns. Look at this, Pennywise. There we go. And Pelipper has fainted. Alrighty. So there we go, another more. And then, well, let's go right ahead and go with our Kid Thunder right here in its newest form, its truest form, I should say. And that's Electrovire. Holy crud. So it took us quite a bit to get this guy, but finally. So here we go, Golduck ready to go. And let's go for a Discharge attack right here. Oh, yes. Bam. Just like that, no more Golduck. Man, it feels good to actually to actually fully evolve our Pokemon. And look at that, it levels up pretty quickly right there. And it's learning Thunderbolt, which, you know what? I'm going to teach it because, yeah, we kinda, we kinda need an extra electric type move right here. So, there we go, Thunderbolt has been learned. And here comes a Steelix. So let's go straight for Hydra since there's a little bit of a drizzle. We are powered up and we're ready to just destroy everything. So let's see what we got. Let us see what we got right here. There we go. And well, let's see. Steelix's attack has fallen. So let's go straight for a Hydro Pump. Eventually I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out Hydro Pump for Surf because Again, the accuracy is pretty big with me, and if we're gonna win the Pokemon League, yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to like make some sacrifices. But look at that—that that sturdy attack, that sturdy just uh <laughs> saves it. Screech doesn't work on us, so let's go finish it off with Bulldoze right here. And Bulldoze defeats him. There we go. Alrighty, yes, we could. And yeah, Steelix has fainted. Look at that. Okay, and well, Toothless grows another level right here. And are you serious? So let's see. It's learning. It's learning Hurricane. So the user. Okay, so the user attacks by wrapping its opponent in a fierce wind that flies up into the sky. This may also confuse the target. Now, this is very, very risky because it is also a flying type move. And it looks like a special attack is not worth it, so let's see. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to keep the, the same moves. We're going to teach them some other stuff. Toothless grown to level 43. Savannah has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Pennywise, you've done enough. Let's go straight for Infernomon right here. And here we go. Take on this guy who's turning his back on us. And there we go. So yeah, it's good. It's good to be back, guys, right here in Brilliant Diamond. I think a few episodes ago, I kind of sort of reviewed it. And I'll tell you this right now. Um, yeah, it's not really what I expected, to be quite honest. Um, I was actually expecting a little bit more. Especially when, you know, uh, Pokemon Arceus was coming out, so... Yeah, that right there... That right there was a big letdown, and yeah. I mean, hopefully... <laughs> hopefully the next remix, which would be the Unova region, and hopefully that will be better because, well, shoot. You know... Oh, look at that, level 50. The Unova region actually expanded just a little in uh, Pokemon Black and White 2, which you guys already know, I'm playing that one. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... 
move down right here. Hopefully... Okay, we don't break anything. So I think the goal is to take on every trainer, but that trainer is probably going to be the hardest to, to actually take on right now. Or to, to actually get on or something like that. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right here. And it looks like to me... We're going to have to go right here and go all the way down. And that could have done something. Good gravy. Okay. So let's go right here and go all the way down right here and take on this trainer. Okay. So let's get another trainer going. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on Brenna. And she's coming out with a Snover. And these are easy targets for my Pokemon. Especially Infernomon right here. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, let's go ahead and uh, not worry about that, that snow warning attack right here. And let's see. Let's see what we got right here. Let's go straight for a flamethrower. And there we go. Flamethrower for the win. Quadruple damage. And just like that, Snover is no more. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, yes, we got to love the experience points. Got to love them. Yeah, you could have you could have brought more Pokemon, but yeah, that's I guess they don't teach you that. Okay, so we got one more trainer right here, so I don't think we're gonna be yeah. There we go, breaking those two down. So let's see, go up here, and this will actually lead us to this spot right here. And there we go. Okay, so now we just have the middle section to go to, but the problem is that there are stairs in the in the middle so let's go right here and go down here this will actually I, I was kinda hoping they would break it but this will actually lead us to this trainer and that right there will end all those trainers to actually battle so here we go taking on ace trainer Alicia and she will be coming out with her Sneasel right here okay bring it on let's go all right, Monfernomon or Infernomon. Remember, I was having some kind of like issue with that. So let's go straight for a flamethrower attack right here. And there you go, flamethrower for the win. And well, Sneasel, no more. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And well, let's see, Tentacruel. So let's go straight to Kid Thunder right here. Again, I want to use a uh, Rose Raid real quick, but. Yeah, that Pokemon that's coming out not gonna not gonna really work. And well, here comes Tentacruel trying to be all cool and cool. And well, let's go straight for a Thunderbolt attack. Now, Thunderbolt and Discharge are similar similar attacks, except you know one hits everything and the other one doesn't. And well, just like that. Okay, another one. And uh, yes. Okay, so we have defeated another trainer. So that's all those trainers. Now we just have to break all these ice or these snow uh, snowballs right here. Okay, so what if we go right here? Okay, so we have to break the last one right here, I guess. And if that's the case, yeah, we have to get momentum right here. So let's see. That won't get momentum, that won't get momentum, but I just saw a spot right here. So if we go down here, this will take us, let's see, I'm looking over it. Go right here. Okay, so we've already battled that trainer. Go right here and crap baskets, okay. Whew, alrighty, so this, this puzzle right here is always it's always been the one that stumps me. So let's see. Go. Do, 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 do. That will lead to the stairs. But if you go up here, down here, there we go. So now we have to go to that one right there. And I'm assuming. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. Trying to figure this out. Jeebus. Okay. So let's see. Right. Crap baskets. Okay. So that's the wrong side. Let's go right here and down here. And uh, this one, if we go right here, go down. And if we go right here, bam. Okay, so 
Now we're cooking with something right here. So we just need one more. And it ha well, actually two more, I should say. So let's see. How do we get there? Okay, so I think I figured it out. Let's see. Um, right here. Yeah, I think I figured it out. It's just a matter of... Here we go. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, so right here. And... I have to go right here. Bam. Bam. And... Damn it! Oh, wait. I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Hold on. Yeah, I did the right thing. It's just I was kind of looking at it from an angle right there. Alright, right here. Right here. Right here. And I'm just going to be walking. Because that's the safer thing to do. Go right here. Right here. One step up. And... Damn it. Hmm. This is like an optical illusion, guys. This is like... Okay, so... Wait, how... How is that... Okay, so hold on just a sec. I'm trying to figure this one out right here. Go down one right here. Where does this lead me? So that's two. Okay, so... Huh. I think I know how to do this. Um, okay. Right here? Better yeah, I think I know where. Hold on. Let's see, right? Right here, okay. And there we go, okay. <laughs> okay, it's just the angle is all wrong. It's all screwy, guys, I'm sorry. So let's go right here. And let's go down the middle. And there we go. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alrighty, so. Let's see. What do we got? Okay, so we gotta heal up uh, Pennywise just in case. Probably not gonna be using them, but still, it'd be nice to actually have some uh, extra backup right here. So there we go. And well, I think that's pretty much it right there. Hold on, hold the phone. I think uh, there is one more thing that I need to get. Let's go straight to the PC and actually sort some stuff out. So. Machoke right here has a focus band, so let's go ahead and give that to Toothless. And Butterfree, Butterfree has a, a Pekka Berry or Pecha Berry. There, and let's see. Box number two. Someone has a Quick Claw, which, uh, let's see, put it to the bag just in case. And yes, uh, Gengar does have, the, does have the amulet coin because I actually replace the electro visor with it so there we go we just gave each other some uh different stuff let's go ahead and talk to this lady and candace is like you want to challenge candace sure thank you. i was waiting for someone tough but i should tell you i'm tough because i know how to focus pokemon fashion romance it's all about focus i'll show you just what i mean get ready to lose oh wow she's she is serious she's ready to go okay so, let's go right ahead and take on Candice right here, the seventh gym leader, and she is going to be starting out with a Snover. Obviously, a uh, obviously a Pokemon that, you know, Infernomon is going to destroy. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take this Snow Warning. Holy crud. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go right ahead and uh, go straight for a Flamethrower attack right here. And look at this. Flamethrower does its trick. Snover has been defeated. What now? Okay, alrighty. And, uh, well, again, more experience points, and we're gonna get buffed by Hale just because of that. And let's see, who's next? Here comes out a Sneasel. So this is... Yeah. Holy crud. Okay, so this right here is... It's just... I guess it's gonna be the Inferno Mon show. <laughs> The Infernomon show featuring Infernomon ready to just kick everybody's butt just using its flamethrower attack of doom and well I guess the other Pokemon should just sit back and just relax and just you know take some uh, experience points and here comes Metacham. Metacham will it go down to yeah you know what let's go straight to uh, good old good old uh, Pennywise right here now there is just one little thing Metacham probably does have Ice Punch so we just have to be aware of that 
but it's also a go it's also a psychic type Pokemon. I do have a move ready for this one right here. So let's go right ahead and use Phantom Force, and just like that, Rock Slide. Ha! You gotta love that. And it is super effective. Good gravy. Okay, so. Ah, Lord. That really messed me up right there. Okay, so let's go straight for a Phantom Force. And another Rock Slide attack. Good gravy. So there it is. Pennywise, not one hit. That's annoying, okay? That is really, really annoying. Okay. Let's see what we can do right here. Let's go... Hmm. You know what? Let's go for Toothless. I get it. Dragon-type Pokemon, but it is going to be a good Pokemon to actually just, just to actually have right here. So let's go straight for a Dragon Claw. We're... God dang it. And yes, because of that Focus Band. Yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, it was... Wait, who did I give that Focus Band to? And look at that. Okay, so Metacham got hit pretty hard, and we're going to get hit by a hail. So Toothless, yeah. Holy crud, two casualties right there and then. So this is what happens when you overlook a Pokemon. So let's go straight for Hydra. And again, I'm kind of overlooking the fact that this boy, this guy has Rock Slide. So hopefully we are faster than this guy. All right, time to eat some. Let's go for some Bulldoze right here. Alrighty, and crap basket! Yeah, okay, so this guy right here is getting on my god dang nerves, alright. So Matacham is probably the Pokemon we have to look after right here. And, well, here comes another Rock Slide. Yes, yet again, we're getting hit by Rock Slide, and... Alright, what's gonna happen? Bulldoze attack. Let's finish this guy off. Matacham, you can eat it! Okay, so I, was, I really wasn't thinking straight with this one right here. Metacham is a Pokemon that, you know, I guess it was she was using for, like, trump card or something like that. So, there we go. Hydra got hit. And, well, Obama Snow is going to be coming out. So, let's go straight for Infernomon and just get rid of this guy. So, here we go. Switching out the Pokemon. And there we go. Monfernomon ready to go. And she's like... I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty. You don't scare me. Flamethrower attack. Here it is. And that is quadruple damage, obviously, because both grass and ice type. And yes. Look at that. Alrighty. So, yes. Look at that. Rosemonk. Rosa level 47. And... Well, Candice is not too happy. She's like, oh, I must say, I warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Never mind, she's very happy. Okay. Wow, you're great. You earn my respect. I think your focus will be bowled us or will bowled us, bowl us to over totally, huh? Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. And bam. Just like that, guys, we get ourselves our seventh badge, the Icicle Badge. It's always nice. And, well, let's see. Hmm. The icicle bag is a, the icicle badge I gave you because I ha you have it. You can use the hidden move rock uh, climb for your Pokétech. Oh, and take these two. We get ourselves stickers, which is always nice, and a few TM 72s to go along with that. And this move contains Avalanche. If the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled. Can you imagine the sort of focus you need to pull it off? A lot. And do you think I, do you think I should try to act more like a an ice type gym leader, or like, do you know I I should uh, be cool or distant, or sort of a thing I have a trouble with? Okay, never mind. All right, we're gonna get the heck out of here. Alrighty. So there it is, guys. We have won our seventh badge, and well, let's see. What is the mission state right here? Check up. Check up on how things are going at Lake Acuity. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, we are going to be going to Lake Acuity, and we're going to, well, handle business right there, because apparently Barry is supposed to look out for that one part right there. I, Yeah, I really don't care about Barry. But anywho, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to Lake Acuity. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button. Yes, and oh, yeah, don't forget to put a, if you always want to put a donation onto this channel, the link is in the description. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go see what happens to Barry and uh, Lake Acuity and all that stuff. See you guys.